Now it's time for True Crime Tuesday. This week we're headed north to the Seattle area looking back at the mysterious disappearance of a turkey hunter. Our friends at Murder in the Rain tell us why the disappearance was very suspicious. Good morning and welcome back to another True Crime Tuesday. Today we're seeking information about the missing and presumed murdered Ian Eccles. Leaving his home of Kent, Washington to go deep in the Okanogan Winnetechi National Forest, Ian Eccles was planning on meeting up with some friends for a turkey hunt. This was on May 16th of last year and it was the last time Ian was seen alive. Spending the night in the forest as to wake up with the sun and start the hunt early, Ian was expected to meet up with his friends that following morning. When Ian didn't show up for the hunt or for work on the following Monday, police got involved in the search for the 40-year-old grandfather. After a 23-day search, his car was found and it was clear something nefarious had occurred due to the amount of blood inside. Early on in searching for Ian, friends of his did spot his vehicle, but it was being driven by a stranger. The man that had been seen driving the car has since been arrested and held for different charges, but the family is desperate for more information. It is believed by authorities that Ian was killed in his car and the body was disposed of in the forest, but it has yet to be found. If you were in the Okanogan Winnetechi National Forest in May of 2020 and saw Ian's silver Toyota FJ Cruiser, which had a back window blown out, or you noticed anything unusual like clothing, blood, or anything at all, please contact authorities. And what number can they call if they have information? If you think you may know anything about Ian's disappearance, potential murder, or location, you're asked to call the Kittitas Sheriff's Office at 509-925-8534. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week with another True Crime Tuesday here on COIN AM Extra. Mm. Well, for more from Murder in the Rain, you can follow them on social media and listen to their investigations wherever you stream your podcasts. And then tune in every Tuesday morning on AM Extra for a new local case.